Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today we are checking out a new clip from Matt Reif. It's a stand-up comedy clip. It's titled Milf and Cookies. Not milk and cookies. Milf. Other I'd like to, you know, fornicate. <laughs> I'm excited. So without further ado, here we go. I seem frustrated a gift maybe help? Maybe after the show. <laughs> oh, Thank you so much. What is this? Well, don't clap. It could be a bomb. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know yet. I came to Iowa and I, I guess... Yeah. I came to Iowa and all I got was this t-shirt and a blowjob. Just offer yourself up there. Listen, guys, I've never ended a show early before, but I, I'm sure you would all understand if I had to wrap things up, right? There's, oh, there's one more thing in here. I feel like, sorry for the pause, his face, was he on the celebrity edition of the challenge, the challenge... Challenge All Stars, not All Stars. The Challenge Vets versus I want to say it was All Stars. They had like celebrities. Uh, there was this girl with like pink hair. She was from some show, and her friend. I'm pretty sure that's him. Matt sounds right. There's oh, there's one more thing in here. <laughs> Cookies? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Thanks, Matt. <laughs> the blowjob's gonna have a hard time beating this. It's, awesome. it's like the perfect consistency, too. Oh my god. Thank you so much. What's your name? Christina, you are so She's hot. She's pretty. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. You're a grandma? <laughs> that dude's face, that dude's face from inside her. He's just like, you're a grandma? <laughs> this guy right there in the leopard. Okay. Oh. Let's put that shower chair to use. <laughs> There's already plastic on the furniture. Let's make a mess, you know? How old are you? Say it. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Probably this like is dirty talk to me. Come on. 40. 40, 40, 45? Yeah. Are you serious? Are you from, are you from here? Really? Those we gotta get you out of here. <laughs> we gotta get you the fuck out of here. Minneapolis at least. Let's just get you, out. Let's just get you down the road. You're not married or anything? You bunch of fucking idiots. Oh my God, you local morons not marrying this beautiful woman who makes great cookies. Stupid. I'm so sorry. What, are you divorced? How long were you married for? 16 years. 16 years? Mm. Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have to say, I really like and respect the fact that some person gave him a gift. Well, Christina said her name is. Gave him this gift and with comedians, I'm pretty sure they go up there with an idea of what they're going to say. His ability to improvise and roll with this and totally just sidestep whatever he had prepared and use the cookies and grandma situation that's happening for content and to still get laughs. I really like that, his ability to roll, roll with it. You know what I mean? How many kids do you have? Four. Four. Oh, what? That's enough, though, right? <laughs> you have your tubes tied? You do? I'm gonna fucking move in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Those are your sisters? You have three sisters? Um, I'm the oldest out of nine. Nine? <laughs> I just like to have such a hot older sister. Does she know she's hot? Does she know that? She doesn't? No. Good. 
keep her humble and nothing, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be stuck here in Iowa forever unless, unless, um, uh, that's gaslighting. <laughs> What's that? What was it? What did you want to show me? Was it a bank statement? What was it? A bank statement. <laughs> your daughter? Is she showing him a picture of her daughter? This is your daughter? It's probably his age. Are you serious? No, nobody else can see her, actually. This is, I don't want Iowa to know she's out here. This is, this is your daughter? How old is she? This is the 21 year old? This is a very tough decision to make, you guys. I don't know <laughs> position, but she's in Jacksonville. She's in Jacksonville. She can't, he can't decide. Daughter's pretty. I imagine Stacy's mom has got it going on. You guys. I don't know if put this position, but this is funny. She's in Jacksonville, Florida. I'll be down there. <laughs> like later on this year, she looks Reminds exactly like movie, you. This is where the guy yes, did she the does. mom and the daughter. She's gorgeous. And the granddaughter? All right, so I'm gonna date you for the next 10 years, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll trade up. <laughs> yeah, like that movie with Jennifer Aniston. Fuck, this is about to be the most uncomfortable Thanksgiving I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because if you taste this good, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> 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 uncomfortable. What's your biggest fear? I want to talk about uncomfortable Thanksgivings. I want to know, tell me in the comments, do you have anyone in the family or a situation that happened in your family in the past similar to that? Example, I have a friend who's married and been with her husband for over a decade. And before she and that husband got together, that husband dated her sister for years. And so Thanksgivings and Christmases and other get togethers have been uncomfortable at times, not so much anymore as far as I know, but just, I'm curious if any of you have had anything like that in your family, whether it was you, a sibling, your spouse's family, significant other, whatever. I'm just curious about, does that happen a lot? Um, anyway. What's your biggest fear? Uh, losing your kids. Losing your kids. Mm -hmm. You might find them. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's bad. <laughs> but if the one in Jacksonville goes missing, mind your business. <laughs> She's in good hands. <laughs> Got your phone? All right, let's swipe out of Instagram and see what else is in here. <laughs> now let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... Oh, no. <gasps> no. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. <laughs> I have a lump in my breast. You had a lump in your breast? I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram recently. Best friends with my kids, mm -hmm. and so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna ask for ugly people's advice. Yeah, I totally get it. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTiming with just a tit out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Cause like you know it's in the palm of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay. I'm Need a second opinion? <laughs> <laughs> you sure? It's a good move. Text messages. Text oh, Maggie. Looking. Is that Maggie your daughter? FaceTime her. Oh no. Are you serious? I want to go to a comedy show like this. I've never been to one. I had tickets to one once, but I had to cancel it because we didn't have um, child care. It was to see Preacher Lawson back in 2017 I think it's been a minute what a show I'm so just absorbed into this as if I'm there daughter FaceTime her Maggie that is not your angle uh, oh. <laughs> 
Where are you right now? Hung over his shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? <laughs> you know you can't bring anybody home. I know. Um, your mom was stupid enough to, to give me her phone, and I was going through your guys' text history, and uh, gross. <laughs> but I, I'm, glad, I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out. Everything's totally OK. Second opinion. <laughs> Everything's totally all right. See your kitties? <laughs> sure did. Sure did. And, um. Well, you're a lucky motherfucker. I don't know. All right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. Bye, Maggie. <laughs> That's so fun. Hear <laughs> them? What do you mean? They fucked them up. What do you mean they fucked them up? <laughs> Who fucked up your titties? <laughs> the doctor? Are they not hers? Do you have fake boobs? <laughs> Fuck. Um. <laughs> prove it. <laughs> What do you, they make sounds. Like, like what? Like, like what, what, what sound do fake titties make? Cha-ching? Like a swishy sound, maybe? Thank you guys the... for coming on this date with Christina and I. Water packs. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed watching me ruin this family. <laughs> what was that? You're lying. <laughs> that did not just happen. You, was that a real thing? No way. <laughs> she has a squeaky toy in her titties. <laughs> and you talking to a doll. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think that's a mistake. I think that's the best thing to have ever happened. <laughs> you can get squeaky toys inside your titties? <laughs> can you customize them like a Tesla horn? <laughs> what made you get them done? Four kids. Four kids? You breastfeed? <laughs> Two of them? Damn. Because you know it goes great with cookies. <laughs> Silicone. That was funny. That was funny. That was one of my favorite one, one of my favorite things that I've ever watched as far as stand up comedy goes. That was just I felt like I was there. I felt embarrassed for Christina, excited for Christina. That was just I think her name was Christina. That was awesome. Let me know in the comments other clips from him or similar um comedians because that was so much fun i don't really have much to say beyond that that was just a lot of fun she definitely looked great for 40 45 in that range and post four children she's doing great um anyway thank you very much for the recommendation thanks for tuning in see you next time have a good one